Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Uh, hopefully the audio is all right. But uh, welcome to Risk of Rain. That looks like... Oh, okay. So this is how they're doing profiles. Interesting. Um, so I love the Risk of Rain, the first Risk of Rain. It's so good. A friend of mine got it for me, and it's one of the games that really, really got me into roguelikes. Um, just had a super good time with it. And when this game surprise dropped earlier this week, I was like, oh man, this is gonna be awesome. I've been looking for some like repeat casual content on stream. <laughs> so if this goes well, I'll probably be playing this a bunch. Um, especially these prismatic trials. These are basically daily uh, seeds where there seems like there's eventually going to be rewards for the top 10%, um, which I, I guess is this list of people, but I'm, I'm not actually sure. Um, but I could definitely see myself grinding the prismatic trial or uh, something like that, and it could be a good time. Um, but... I'm still in the process of unlocking stuff, um, all that jazz. Uh, taking a look at the logbook, I played for about three hours yesterday with a friend of mine because I really wanted to try out the, the co-op. Uh, still a lot of things locked. Um, most of this stuff is just the, the default. Um, and of course there's some stuff under construction. Found a couple monster logs. Um, only one class unlock so far. We're actually one... What, which one is it? Which one is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Complete the first teleporter event five times. I've almost unlocked this character, whoever it is. Um, Blarate yourself in Tyrobolisk. No idea what that means. Uh, free the survivor suspended in time. That's probably a hidden thing similar to the minor. Um, third teleporter event without dying. Uh, almost got there, but we lost we couldn't find the teleporter in the third stage um, and complete 30 stages this one's probably just a matter of time um, but the commando is a lot better just also some stuff that i've done so far um, the commando is a lot better in this game than in the first game i think and i haven't played single player yet so i'm i'm real curious to see how this goes um Part of me wants to just jump straight into Monsoon. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to at least unlock a, unlock stuff, unlock more classes, and then if I'm still doing a bunch of content for Risk of Rain 2, I'm going to jump into Monsoon and just try to get good. <laughs> but we only have the Commando so far. Um, double tap, pretty much just hold down right button. This phase round's really good, especially it's kind of our... A uh, pseudo AoE, which works out great. Tactical dive, really nice roll, also really great for just moving quickly through levels. Uh, and suppressive fire is really great as like a, a stun that you get every once in a while. Um, just general overview, commando, jack of all trades sort of character. Um, pretty, pretty useful. But anyway, let's get this party started. And just right out of the gate, you can see I have some lunar coins. Um, I'll go over what those are later. Wait, did it not save my... One sec. Oh, it didn't. So that's annoying. Um, but noted for later. Um, what about my... Oh, also, it looks like it actually pauses the game when I'm not in... Multiplayer. Okay, so it saved this setting, but it didn't save toggle sprint. Interesting. Yeah, it defaults to left stick. There we go. And I really don't like it on left stick. <laughs> uh, so for those who aren't familiar with Risk of Rain, it is a roguelike. 
and we are trying to find the teleporter. So the, the main objective is run around, find the teleporter, which actually allows you to progress, and then rinse and repeat that a couple times. Uh, the thing pushing you forward is the game slowly gets more and more difficult as you progress with just enemies constantly spawning around you. Um, they've changed some stuff. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. Difficulty is always increasing with time. Play fast. Looks like single player is doing a, a little bit of a tutorial experience for us, which is nice. I don't know how much they're expecting people to jump straight into multiplayer. Um, I'm also not super familiar with these maps yet. So there's a lot of stuff that I just do not know. Oh, there's a teleporter. Uh, do I have enough to get this? I do. Okay. So I found Rose Buckler. Reduce incoming damage while sprinting. Nice. Um, let's get one more chest, and then I'll try to crack open this teleporter super fast. It's so easy to get surrounded in these games. Oh, come on, I'm so close to buying the thing. There we go. Okay, sprint faster. Not sure that's the best thing, but let's crack open this teleporter so I can start it early. I'm real curious to see how this goes when I'm by myself. So the thing with the teleporters is you essentially have to survive for a set amount of time. Nice. Okay, so we got really lucky. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Uh, we have to stay within this range. Unfortunately, I got real hecked up by the Beetle Queen's AoE. But at least I take reduced damage while sprinting? Oh. Yeah, that didn't go so well. Hey, Sound Defense, how's it going? You just missed my epic first run of lasting uh, three minutes. Boy, this game is so much harder when you're by yourself. <laughs> It's okay, I kind of rushed the teleporter. Um, one thing I definitely realized while playing with my friend the other day... You saw the part where you died? You weren't supposed to see that part! <laughs> uh, one thing I noticed with a friend of mine is that there's definitely an upside to picking stuff up. Like, before, you generally wanted to rush the teleporter as fast as possible. But I feel like the bosses are a little more difficult than this. And don't scale as aggressively with the difficulty. You might also just be a little bit weaker too. I'm not sure. There's a, a lot of... A lot of little things have changed. It would be nice if I could kill some stuff to get some money. There we go. Nice. And the fact that everyone can, like, maintain... Well, I don't know if everyone. That's a bit of a bold claim. Okay, medkit. That's going to be nice for survival. And there's some more money over here. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me earlier, sound defense, but... Um, if I end up really liking this as a stream game, I might just go hard into the Prismatic Trials. Because I can totally see that being my jam. Why is there an Elite already? which is a good amount of money. Want to try this game out, but you have a lot of work to do this weekend? Fair enough. 
Yeah, I'm just glad my friend let me know about it. Ooh, Soldier Syringe. That's gonna be real good. That's really good on the commander. Or commando, sorry. This AoE can shoot through walls is really nice. Also, I need to get better at progressing while going backwards. Also needs to jockey for position with Sekiro. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to end up playing Sekiro for a very long time. <laughs> but that usually happens with the Souls games. Is I end up not playing them for a significant amount of time. I should add it to my wish list so I at least get it on sale. Ah, shoot. Also, cool tech. You can dodge roll before hitting the ground and reduce all damage. We realized that yesterday. But I'm also, like, terrible at... Oh, there it is! Uh, okay, we're in level 2 easy. I should be able to trigger this and be okay-ish? I don't like this area, though, is the problem. Stone Titan! I can deal with Stone Titan. I just need to save my dodge roll. Because it hurts a lot! Run, run! Okay, this is bad. Uh, so the... You need to do two things in order to progress to the next stage. You need to... Ugh. You need to reduce, uh, uh, complete the teleporter percentage, which requires that you're close. Hey, people spawning up here? Looks like it. Um, but you don't have to clean everything up anymore. So, looks like this is a pretty good spot. They're also kind of filtering in here, which is nice. Oh, do not fall. Please do not fall. But I also don't know if they stop spawning when it hits 100%. Ooh, wow, I am absolutely surrounded. Oh no, he made his way up here. Bail! <laughs> Come on, teleporter's almost done. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh! Do not want... Yep, we're dead. This game is so much fun, doesn't have to doesn't have the end game yet, but still keep fighting through levels forever until you die. I was playing with some friends last night, we found a secret room that requires three plus people to access. Has a pair of unique elites and its own specific spawn drops. Interesting. Yeah, I was playing with a friend last night too. I found a secret area. Um But it didn't require multiple people. It just required some very fancy jumping off of a cliff. Okay, so, rushing the turret, or rushing, at least right now, as I currently am. Oh, one requires two buttons to be pressed to open the room. Interesting. 
So two people have to open the door and then one person has to to go through it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I need to, I need to figure out the balance for when to open up the teleporter. Cuz you get overwhelmed so easily. But that is cool that they force you they force you to be in that radius now in order to tick the timer down. You can't just run away and kite things forever. Ooh, missile launcher. Yes, please. Um, use items also seem to be a lot less common, but I don't know if that's the, the normal experience. Let's get this choice item up here. Keeping an eye out for the teleporter. Let's get the heal. I figure this and the, the memories serve roughly the same function. Haven't seen elite item drops. Wondering if they're not in this game. Ah, uh, possibly. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen any either. Um, maybe the elite drops are replaced with what the lunar coins give you? Also, if you're, if you're not aware, um, a lunar coin is basically something... And this is for everyone, not you specifically, but... A uh, lunar coin is something that you can find during your run that you can use in later runs. Like, I have two lunar coins. I found four. I managed to use two of them. I am so getting lost. Uh, might get something for killing Secret Shopkeeper. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I found two things, two separate things with the Lunar Orbs. Um, one was a super good item called a Brittle Crown. And what that item did... Ooh, chest. Uh, what that item did was it made it so that when I dealt damage, I got money. But when I took damage, I lost money. So it ended up making this interesting metagame. Um, and incentive for not getting hit. The other thing that I've seen it do is... Oh, boy. I need to get better at talking while playing this game. Oh, hey! Um, the other thing that it does that I've seen is something about a blue orb. Like, it says a blue orb has appeared, but I have no idea what that means. Uh, we've seen that twice, but we have... Uh, me and my friend have yet to find a blue orb, so I don't know what it is. Okay, so we already hit this level of easy. Uh, I guess let's go for it. <laughs> I've got a decent number of healing items, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Also, Beetle Queen is just, like, the worst for me. <laughs> oh, why are you like this? Oh, that's why I'm getting stuck. Uh, run, run, please run. How are you? Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't roll nearly soon enough. Okay, let's see how close this is. Oh, yeah, I was way too far away for, for that to do well. Okay, so if you dodge forward, it's actually not too bad. Ow! Mm, that's the one. That's the one that hurts. Stop spamming that! Yeah, she just does so much. Yep. 
Ow. Mm. Oh, wow, that guy. I'm stuck. You don't know what the gold orb does. Okay. Oh. What are we at? 45? Uh, <laughs> it hurts so much! Ah, oh, I didn't have a dodge. Let's keep going this way. What are we up to? 61? Let's take out some of these guys with the AoEs. I didn't have it. Okay, let's save the missile for the queen. But I think we've I think we're starting to get a rhythm here. Oof. Okay, we're up to 90. Take out a bunch of those stalking flyers. Take out some of these little dudes. We've got our dodge. Alley oop! Okay. 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 Take her down, take her down, take her down! Got her! Alright, time for cleanup. I'm gonna see if there's any chests that I can grab that I missed. Here's one at least. So I've got a little bit of time and I think I'm gonna start the next stage on medium regardless. Ah, there's a chest, nice. Blue Orb opens the teleport to Secret Shop. It spawns around the teleporter when you beat the boss. Okay, so that explains why we never found it. Because we only found the Blue Orb thing on stages that we couldn't find the teleporters. Yeah, there we go! Okay. Uh, is that a chest? Oh, right, the boss drop. I almost forgot the boss drop. Uh, right, it spawns by the teleporter. Red whip. No extra chest. Adios, suckers! Yep, and then it bumped up into medium. So this is the place me and my friend kept getting lost. So 
So I'm going to try my best to not lose track of things while going through this level. Because it's super easy to get turned around, I've noticed. Also, those things shoot mines that stay on the ground. Best to avoid them. Still don't have quite enough money for this chest. I don't know if I want to farm here for it. I one oh one seventeen. Where was that chest? Ah, oh, there it is. I think I dodged fast enough? I'm not actually sure. Ooh, nice. More sprinty drinks. Woof. Let's go! That's a bigger chest down there. Oh, right. The 3D printer's a new thing. Um, basically, you can replace an item of equal rarity with another item. Or with the item there. Uh, what does it say? What up Oh, where does it say? Um, at the top of the screen, it says the upgrades I currently have. At the bottom of the screen, when I get a new thing, uh, it tells me what it does. Get wrecked! What is... Crowbar! Deal more damage to healthy enemies. Nice. That was really good with the sniper in the first game. Not great um, with the commando. Because the commando doesn't really have big burst damage. Okay, at least this isn't a dead... And that was a chest... Go, 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 go! At least I can cover a lot of ground right now. That's good. I was down there. Can I make that? I might be able to make that. Whoop. Nope! Cannot make that. <laughs> the, I hit an invisible wall. Uh, oh, I don't have 107. Almost, though. What's this over here? Is this a, it's a 67. Let's head back, because I think it was a gunner drone? I'm already getting so turned around. You know what? I'm just gonna buy this chest and get out of this hellway. Ooh, nice. Try tip dagger. Bleed is super good here. Shrine of blood? No, thank you. Oh no, it was blowing up on the ceiling. That's not good. Zoom! Okay, new chests and things, so we haven't been here yet. Come on. Gasoline! Killing enemies sets them on fire. That's good. Basically, all of the on kill abilities are super strong because it tends to chain together.
Ooh, that, those are mines. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not be here. Oh, I'm so turned around. I wish there was a map. <laughs> I'm so turned around. I honestly have no idea if I'm going somewhere new or not. Okay, seems promising. Here's a 67. Another crowbar. A little better. Ooh, and teleporter. Definitely gonna snag this before it gets much harder. Wandering vagrant. There you are! Oh, this one seems so much easier. Load up, load up, load up. Come on, I need those missiles back, please. have been some AoE. I was so close. Ah! <laughs> oh, I thought I had him. I thought I had him. Yeah, rip indeed. Almost. But hey, we got a new thing. That's good.